Hey everybody and welcome back to the next coach's commentary for the 2021 season. Algoma Wolves, 6-2, second place in conference, two plays away from being 7-1, a great season. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at the week three victory over Surring. Final score ended up being 22-6. When it comes to Surring, they... I uh, had a couple of things that would uh, give us some problems and that we were worried about. Wanted to make sure we'd be able to try to stop these guys. Uh, they didn't do anything super complicated on offense, uh, though the things that they did do, they did pretty well. Uh, so they were going to run the ball a lot. You'll notice here, run versus pass, 95% of the time they ran the ball. So they're having... Uh, a lot of success, so if you can pound the rock, why would you even think about throwing? Uh, but most common formations, I tight, and then our Lark and Robin, which you have twins and then an attached uh, tight end uh, for the strong side there, and we'll take a look at that. But uh, this one guy, number 14, he was their fullback. Uh, he was the guy that scared us the most. Uh, he wasn't the fastest guy, but uh, he's uh, big and strong and uh, just would run through arm tackles like it was nothing. Uh, gave us some problems as well with uh, trucking guys and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll kind of get into their uh, plays here. Most common formation uh, in 2022, we saw I tight a ton, uh, but it was uh, a little bit different uh, during this season here. And they can do... Leads, dives, pitches, counters, all sorts of things. Um, and what they would do for their counter play is they would pull uh, both uh, the backside guard and tackle. <clears throat> uh, and then the fullback would fill uh, where those guys were pulling from, which that didn't scare us a lot out of that formation. But for this, and 14 would be uh, this guy here. Something that they like to do is send their slot in motion, fake that jet, get us hopefully over pursuing this way and then pull a guard pull guard and tackle back the other way and uh kill you so you have to have a lot of eye discipline when it comes to that uh we had some issues in the game when with our safeties rotating so when they're bringing a guy over hey we're going to be moving too if the offense is moving so uh, we deal with things as we rotate our safeties instead of sending a guy along with him and trailing we want to we don't want to get over levered uh so we have our safeties essentially switch and then the guy who's down uh goes back to that deep third or to uh deep middle depending on what coverage we're running and then the other safety comes up so we're ahead of them so in case they do jet we should have a guy at the point of attack uh, over levered to either get the tackle or to turn it back inside uh so we have some issues with that and uh, you can see steam coming out of my ears uh, when we're doing some like uh, kind of like week one adjustments to motions and stuff like that. But again, had some uh, new guy at the position um, and we'll talk about that when we get there. So they can run counter, they can run trap, do all sorts of things. We did not want the ball in 14's hands. Uh, they also had a gimmick formation as well. Uh, ran it only a couple of times. And they ran jet, they could run counter, all that other stuff, they re didn't really use it uh, against us. When it came to the uh, personnel, uh, you know, quarterback, we didn't, uh, couldn't really say how good of a passer he was because they, uh, I think they threw it like a single time uh, in their, uh, in the film that we had. Uh, and then uh, doesn't really run the ball, he would hand it off every single time. So we didn't really count him as a threat as a runner, but 14 was the guy. Uh, that we were uh, impressed with and that we wanted to stop. And then some of the other guys, um, kind of regular guys that we felt pretty confident in terms of uh, having matchups against. Uh, kind of our defensive plan uh, when we are uh, doing stuff here, when we have double tight, we have our defensive ends lining up in five techniques and then they have B-gap. Remember the design of our defense is we want to have these three D linemen occupy these four interior gaps and if we are doing that we should have a good day because then our safeties are going to be free our linebackers should be free to get to the ball and uh we're also going to be sending some safety blitzes uh with our uh, uh missiles and rockets uh, for that and i have those drawn up there uh kind of just a, a blitz from the safety and then we also have a slant uh with our nose tackle as well 
basic alignment stuff, uh, we can play white coverage, um, which is, you know, uh, just cover one. We can play cover three, uh, and that's predominantly what we were figuring on playing for this game. And then I kind of have some plays drawn up out of their ace gimmick, how I think they're going to block us and all that stuff. But as you can see here, last words, hey, tackle 14. We don't want to try to, like, tackle him in the chest or just, like, get an arm on him because he's going to run through that stuff. He's too strong um, and too quick to uh, do that. And the uh, reading our keys should take us to the play every single time. Nothing should be uh, too uh, surprising for us. So getting into the game here. With the kickoff. Hey, we received the ball. <clears throat> And we're uh, off and running here. So, Suring, they're pretty impressive. Held us below our scoring average. This season it was, uh, I think, about 36 points per game. We only scored uh, 22. Gave us some problems. We made some good halftime adjustments. And again, this is kind of the some of the standard plays that we're running here. Seeing how teams are going to line up against us. Had a good play there, but they ended up getting us into a fourth and short, and we're going to play some uh, field position and punt. You also notice that uh, C.A. Ritchie, our starting right guard, and also filled in at uh, the D-line spots. Uh, he was concussed the previous game, so we moved our blocking tight end to the guard, and then it took Noah, and you can see with... Uh, us not tackling 14 there, uh, how he can be a really dangerous player. But yeah, 14, he's getting after it. He's a good blocker, good runner. Got that one stretched out, so that was nice. But yeah, what we took with Noah, uh, who is our running back, uh, since he knows the offense so well, really smart player. <clears throat> we actually moved him to the blocking tight end because uh, we knew that he would uh, block the right guy consistently. And uh, he did a really, really nice job for us uh, as a blocking tight end. Yeah. Kind of feeling us out, seeing what we're going to do, doing some different plays. Carter Dashlett had a really awesome game. Uh, he was a first-team all-conference player for us. But uh, I think he had one and a half sacks. He had a couple tackles for loss. Um, he had a forced fumble. And I think he had, like, two other QB pressures as well. And so, bad snap. We actually had a... Uh, blitz from the safety, so even though it looks like Carter read that play super fast, he was going anyway. And we got him to punt. And uh, I'd like to see us gain some yards there instead of losing five or six. But, uh, yeah, at least got the ball back. See, so they were running this 3-3 uh, three, three stack. And, uh, yeah, Exciting uh, Julia Vandervest, a one of our uh, stat girls, also uh, Coach Vandervest's daughter. Senior year, you can see her uh, reacting on the sideline. There's a good play that opens up. You can see her uh, start to fist pump. Got our trips here. A head grant, inside leverage. A little bit too high, couldn't bring or come down with the ball. But you can see that uh, we really like this numbers game with our uh, out of trips where they're giving us kind of a 3-2 look, kind of. So yeah, getting a throw to Varden. We definitely got like bailed out. They called pass interference, which I don't know. But then we uh, have a bad snap. Start with double sticks. Get a decent run, get uh, some of that yardage back, and uh, yeah, making a throw here. Grant gets inside leverage. Yeah, you get Julia excited. Grant gets caught from behind though, and can't score. But really good play for us. There's a tight window there with uh, that uh, linebacker dropping into that space. Carter fitted in there. Really nice play. Yeah, they're uh, getting some carries to Layton. They're, they like sending their uh, inside linebacker a lot. 
And this one scored a touchdown, but if you noticed, uh, their slot corner just jacked up Grant. So uh, he was pretty upset. He's like, give me the ball. Get the two-point conversion. Score on that guy. Not going to let that happen again. Yeah, get Varden down there. Nice job making a tackle. And then uh, here they have that motion. QB keeping it. Yeah, ran pretty hard there. Sending that motion again. And uh, on the previous play, we didn't have our safeties rotate. They just stayed back. So then they ran that jet with a lead blocker. So I that's where the steam's coming out of my ears. <coughs> Put in the uh, backup safety, and then he does the same thing. So he doesn't come up when they have that motion either. So I'm like... Uh, in my head, just like freaking out, super mad. But when the offense is moving pre-snap, we're moving pre-snap. Otherwise, we're going to get over-levered. Nice play by Dashlet there. But yeah, that's something that uh, drives me nuts. Guy makes a mistake, put in another guy, <clears throat> and then he does the exact same mistake, like on the next play. But again, it's a learning process. Third game of the season. Got a false start here. We did a much better job after uh, I calmly explained uh, what we need to do. Get them in a passing situation. Okay. Knock it down. And uh, if memory serves, I don't think they completed a single pass against us this game. Oh, my dog's going crazy. Yeah, we got a, uh, looks like a G here. We're probably getting flagged. Yep. And then, uh, back to a trap. With all the, uh, they, um, with all those natural bubbles in that three-man front. Ugh. Uh, we really felt like the uh, trap was going to be a good play for us. And then we got a punt. But uh, one of the adjustments we made at the half was running, we call the play a G, where we get a different backfield action. We still have a pulling guard, but they're going up for a linebacker. And uh, the linebackers were not reading our guards, really. And when we ran that G, everybody's flowing to that fake. And then our quarterback was off and running, or uh, the two back was off and running all by himself afterwards. So bring a little pressure here. Oh, faked the pressure. Got a good play, get him to a fourth and long. Make a punt. He caught the punt, get some yards. In pretty decent field position, middle of the field. Get Varden a carry. Trying to get him the ball more and more. We realized pretty early on he was one of our playmakers. A nice cutback by uh, Carter there. Could uh, get some blocking on the backside. Could have made that uh, even bigger play. Nice job picking up the blitz. A late and getting some good yards. Jacking up CA. He's excited. Even though he's out, he's still active in the game. He's talking with guys on offense and defense. I don't know if we had kind of a weird snap there where uh, Carter ended up taking the ball, but he was supposed to be the lead guy there. Sometimes it happens. Man, but got a nice drive going. Getting some good yards. We're getting uh, manageable downs and distances for the most part. There you go, nice run. Really hitting those natural bubbles of the defense, and then they go to a four-man front. Even four-man fronts, there's still going to be a natural bubble just because of our defense where we present a lot of gaps, or our offense. We present a lot of gaps, double tight with a wing. Don't have like a QB that just hands the ball off. 
so we get we can get a numbers advantage to uh, different places pretty easily. Hey, but uh, they stop us on fourth down. That was one where uh, didn't read the play very well. But uh, I think that was uh, halftime then. Yeah, it definitely has to be halftime. But they get a good return. They're going to make some good adjustments here. They're going to score on their first drive. Uh, the uh, They're going to have like QB leads. So they're going to get all four of us blocked up. Three offensive linemen plus the running back. And they're going to get our three D linemen and our linebacker blocked. Poor job of tackling on 14 here. End up scoring right out of the gate. Okay, so good adjustments for them. Okay, but we uh, stop the two-point conversion. And then we're going to adjust to their adjustment. And uh, they're not going to be able to hit those plays anymore. <clears throat> but X is an O's game. Able to get that stuff figured out. And uh, they went back to their three-man front. Kind of seeing, okay, what are they going to do on defense here? Okay, running lead pass. Got Grant open. Gets caught from behind again. No one's more just kidding. He had to wait for the ball. But I just like to give Grant a hard time. Give him a hard time during this game about getting caught from behind. <clears throat> Run another pass play. And go back to trips. Need some yards. We uh, tried running a trap to the weak side. Didn't end up so well. They're really liking uh, sending that uh, guy in a blitz. Their uh, middle linebacker. Again, another drop. Okay. Awesome catch there by Grant. Gets us the first down. Still moving the ball. And going for twins. See what they're going to do. Blitzing that linebacker. Can't quite get through. <clears throat> so yeah, they're just uh, sending guys at us. Seeing if we can hold up and we're having some issues. And we're going to run crossers here. Yep. I don't know once it gets picked. Felt that that play we could have hit consistently, like every single game, but uh, we never were like patient enough to wait for them to clear past everybody. <clears throat> and yeah, they gotta they gotta stop on fourth down. So giving it to fourteen again, getting guys to him, staying low on him, trying to shut him down. We did not want him to get some confidence. Oh god, <laughs> our safety just got buried there. <clears throat> by 14. You're trying to get 14 the ball more. We're getting guys all over them. Really uh, stressing it at the uh, half. We stopped 14. We're going to be fine. Getting to punt again. Still sticking with the uh, three-man front, sending the middle guy. Let the guy get some momentum. They will run into our guards. And are we going to be able to hold up to that stuff? There's late in a lot of that stuff. I talked about him previous two games. Just able to get yards. And just like little like spin moves and shifting his weight and stuff like that. Here, got a nice play. Did the new route combination. And uh, Grant's going to get caught from behind here. Should have just kept running. And he fumbles into the end zone. Should have been a huge play for us. Got a bunch of yards on it. Gave a lot of traffic where Grant was our number three receiver. Ran him on a flag. Brought the other two guys on uh, on slants across the field. Sending some like, natural picks on the guy that had granted man coverage. Got him wide open. But then got caught from behind. That's for being nice and aggressive. Nice job by Leighton there. 
getting up, getting the tackle. A QB keeper. A nice job with uh, Varden coming up and getting the tackle. He misses that. That guy's gone. A late and awesome read there. Comes through. Gets the tackle for a loss. Great play. Making him punt. And get a nice uh, Algoma Wolves bounce there. And Suring still doing their uh, standard stuff. Three-man front. And then sending the middle guy. Coming back with the lead. Getting decent yards. Lead pass, easy dump off. Get some decent yards. Very low risk play. And get us to a fourth down and short. And go on wedge. Get the play. New set of downs. Nice inside handoff here. Layton gets some good yards. Had that on a trap. <clears throat> Then I, if uh, memory serves here, we're going to be running that G, uh, maybe this next play. Let's see if we see Dashlet pulling. Yep, there he goes. Oh, tried our, uh, tried our wing counter. Didn't get any yards on it. <clears throat> Lost yards, actually. Ball gets swatted back into a... Uh, into our QB, and then we get to, uh, I think this is fourth and long here. Sending some pressure. Nice run. It's knocked out of bounds, but we get the first down. Awesome play. And get it to Layton. Good block by our QB. And getting a nice surge. They go to their four-man front. And we adjust to it well. Punch this one in here. Not quite on this play. Yeah, our, our splits are really tight. Just doing wedge blocking. They're diving at our legs, trying to cause a pile, but we are still able to get in. Okay, two point conversion. Got a pull and guard. Dashlet makes a nice block. That was our G play. Give a different look uh, in the backfield. Guard's doing something a little bit different. Then we kick the ball out of bounds. <clears throat> and they got a guy wide open. QB doesn't see him. QB's running, tries to throw downfield. Can't quite get it. And we got uh, big man at defensive end here. Dashlet's going to get the strip. Big man's going to fall on it. And then we're in business. And I think we uh, we run lead here. Then I think we're going to come back to that G, one that play that I was mentioning before. And then both of the linebackers are going to get uh, go with that play fake. There it is. And gone. They have no idea where the play is. Awesome run. Huge play. Great blocking. Get the ball to uh, best offensive player, most dangerous offensive player. And then, uh, yeah, don't quite get in on this one. Yeah, but things are looking good, doing some good things, uh, kind of rolling on defense, getting him to a situation where they have to throw. Definitely not a strength of theirs. Awesome play by Varden getting in on that tackle. And then it's, uh, are they just going to... Give 14 the ball every single time and keep running that clock. They're going to run out of time or they're going to try to throw it, even though they're not completing anything. Hey, yeah, but yeah, we're uh, all over the place here. He's sending that motion. 
They're trying that jet. And then they get the first down. Good read making. Uh, Leighton came up to attack that blocker. They're running a post and a wheel here. Good read by our DBs passing stuff off. Okay, QB run. Gets in the open field. Yeah, but telling our guys, stay patient. Okay, that clock keeps running. Keep that clock going. They're going to run out of time if they're uh, just going to keep the ball on the ground. Make sure they can't get out of bounds. Okay, faking that jet. Back to that QB run. Good tackle by our linebacker there. And faking that jet. Trying to uh, get 14 the ball. Just running through, guys. Again, that clock is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. We go four wide. Have that motion. Motion to trips. And we drop the interception right to us. <clears throat> but don't worry. I have a feeling that uh, we'll have another shot at an interception to uh, end the game here. Yeah, run some routes, guy to the middle of the field, QB steps up in the pocket. There you go. Cutter Zimmerman with the interception. Good read on stuff. And then uh, just take knees, end the game. Awesome job. So, yeah, there was a, a great test for us uh, with Suring. Pretty good defense, gave us some problems. Um, and then, yeah, 14, just uh, being a big beast that we were having some issues with uh, initially. But again, held in the one score. So uh, I was really happy. Uh, what I wasn't happy about was the uh, kind of early in the year stuff uh, with our safeties rotating. That's a big part of the uh, installation stuff that we do uh, when it comes to motion. So we got that cleared up, though. Uh, sometimes it kind of takes uh, uh, us getting hurt by something in-game to... Uh, get things fixed uh, and to, for us to like, okay, it clicks for us. This is why we are doing these things and uh, we got all those uh, things going. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, Surring game here. <clears throat> a lot of great plays by a lot of great players and uh, you know, I'll catch you on the next one.